Hello YouTube Bland, Richard here. BP Leverage, born October 7th, 1837, died November 27th, 1907, age 70 years, one month and 20 days. Isn't it amazing how they place such value on human life? I'm in a cemetery, it's a church cemetery. Um, I wanted, the sun is not cooperating, unfortunately. I don't know what we can see here. Hmm, man, that stone looks a lot older than 1951, huh? Anyway, I came, I was taking some pictures, and I really don't know if we'll be able, what we'll be able to see here. Just some basic exploration. See if we could find any interesting graves. Uh, there's a private from World War II. Boyd Heuser, 1916 and 1991. Well, wow. been gone a while. And I wish I could see what was on there. Oh, the sun is going to make it really rough. Huh, Malone, Mary, and George. Mary went in 1952, and, oh man, George went early. He went in 1910. Hmm. Let me see if we can get, it's a nice stone. Wow, for 1946. John M. Wayland, and let me see who this is. I think it's Lizzie. Lizzie M. It's a cool name. And when did she go? I think it's 44, 1944. If my shoes get in this video, I'm wearing work boots. I just got off of a construction job, so. Ah, isn't this an interesting one? Look at this epitaph. There are no partings in heaven. Oh, amen. Morin, 1955, and Minnie May, 1979. It's really amazing. Look, you know, it's around Christmas time, and everybody's sending uh, flowers to their loved ones. Ain't that interesting? It happens a lot. You know, I remember years ago, people used to do it almost every holiday. I actually worked for a delivery service one time. I think those are niches over there. Man, I'm sun is blinding. Oh, wow. All right. Here's an interesting one. Campbell. William and Helen. It says... 
Tis love that calls us home at close of day. Huh. Yeah, that's very interesting. Ellen Mildred Campbell, beloved wife and mother, 1920 to 2004. And William Edward Campbell, U.S. Navy, World War II. And looks like Deborah's happily alive. Wish her a long and happy life, and uh, oh, Robert, he is he's coming up on one year. Rest in peace. Really, it's a drag when couples are separated. son and husband and father oh wow he was not that old so that would be 29 Michael Brian Tooney that would be 29 36 37 years old man What a drag. That's sad. Huh. Well, I see this a lot. You have Pauline. Yeah, chances are. They just didn't get around to putting that on the, the inscription on the stone. Ernest went in 82. And Pauline. She was born in 1908, so that would be 28. 28 would be 100 years. Well, it's possible. She could be alive around 110 years. People do live that long. Oh. Oh, there's a fancy stone. Oh, William's still alive. Looks like they're both still alive. Oh, good for them. Yeah, definitely. They're not old. Yeah, she's around 58. And he's around 70, so yeah, absolutely. We wish you a long and happy life, guys. A lot of forward-thinking people, like I always say. And we got some pretty stones over here. Oh. Oh man. Wow, there's only 15. Frank, John Franklin, Bugaboo, BD2. That is so sad. Oh, rest in paradise, young man. And it looks like we have a musician over here. And a hummingbird lover. What's that? Will it? When cardinals appear, they're angels. And Mary went in 2018, and Coleman went in 97. Guitar player. Guitar players are always special people. Uh, oh. I 
guess somebody liked Mountain Dew, huh? It says, oh, I love that. At home in heaven. Maurice went in 2013. And looks like Marion went. 2018. Not that long ago. Yeah, I think I filmed this one before. It's a beautiful stone. Well, anyway, guys, I think I'm on my way out of here. Let's just check out this little fireman here. I guess, I guess John or Robert were firemen. One of them. Yeah, a lot of people leaving reeds. Oh, I hate seeing that. You know, I think a lot of times that the landscapers must bump into these things with their right on mowers. I don't think it's necessarily vandalism. Uh, this is a nice old church cemetery, actually. Yeah. Let's see if I can grab a picture there. And I guess this is a nice shot. Oh, look at this before we go at rest. Hmm. I'm trying to see. Otis Heyman, 1921, and I think there's somebody else to 27. It's only 49, eight, eight months and seven days. Hmm. A precious. A precious one. These are always so difficult. Their wording is a lot different than what we use today. 
Maybe a precious son from us has won. A voice has been stilled which can never be filled. Uh, let me see, I wonder. Oh, 78. Yeah, so 22. Yeah, it was around 49, I guess. Oh, yeah, 49. Four months and whatever days. Let me give it another try. A precious son from us has one has has one a voice we loved is stilled a place is hmm you guys can help me in the comments <laughs> A place is waiting. In his home, I guess. Which... I guess it's an empty place is in his home, which can never be filled. At rest, and... Oh, thanks for enduring that with me. Oh, here's another one. Oh yeah, you know, I see this so much. You just wonder exactly what goes on, but you know what? Sometimes people die and Bosman, what is that? Oh, he was a reverend. John Bosman, 1857 to 1926. And Etta B, 1856. Yeah, oh, well, she must have changed. The plans must have changed for Etta. Anyway, let me leave you with this beautiful rural Maryland sunset. Stay safe, everybody. Um, most likely I'll be posting, but if I don't see you again, have a great holiday. You know, and Merry Christmas, and, uh, you know, we're still a week or so away from it, but stay safe in this crazy world, and peace out.